Hello everyone, my name is Adam Maripos Vox, and in this video we're going to be cleaning up the Windows 10 Start menu here just a little bit. Now keep in mind you do have two options with the Windows 10 Start menu. If you're on a desktop, you can either use it in normal desktop mode, which is a bit, only a bit, more similar to the Windows 7 and previous version Start menu, or you can use it in full screen mode by going to Settings, Personalization, Start, and then use Full Screen Start. And then when you click the start button, it's going to pop it up in full screen mode. You can click this icon over here to bring up that normal start menu and you have your start menu mode ready to go. I, however, prefer the normal size, so I'm going to turn off that. Then it has show most used apps, show recently added apps, show recently open items on the jump list and choose which folders appear. So first we're going to customize which folders appear. File Explorer. Yeah. Settings. Yeah. But why does it have all these hidden? We don't want those hidden. So I'm going to use documents, mu downloads, music, pictures, videos, and network. You can customize these to your heart's content. Those are the ones I wish. Then when we click start, once it realizes what I'm doing, it has all those pictures, those folders there. However, it's getting rid of a lot of application shortcuts. However, look at this. If I put my mouse over one of the edges, I can make it taller. So since I have a very high resolution display, I can make my start menu take up a heck of a lot of space because it's only ever going to be there to be used. It's not going to be up all the time. So when I hit Windows key, it is right there. So you can also customize the size, which makes it really nice when you're adding a lot of crap to it like I am. Then you can tell it whether or not to show your recently added or most used apps and your most used items. I think this looks pretty cool. All right. So we're going to close that personalization menu for a moment. Then we're going to pull up our giant start menu now. And here you, there's where it has the most used apps and there's where it has the most recently added apps. But let's go down here to all apps and see this view. Now see this pulls up a vertical list of all of your apps that you have installed. Think for a second and if there's something that you regularly use that you don't have on your taskbar but you would still like somewhere, you can right click it and go to pin to start. Now when you pull it up, it's going to be over here in its own pin section. They do have various sections like Windows 8 did. And so you can then name your group. So I'm going to call this, uh, I'm just going to call this pinned items for now. I'll customize it for myself later. And then you can move where it goes. So for example, I want my pinned items at the top. So I'm going to put it at the top. Go over here to all apps, scroll through, find another app, uh, file hippo app manager. I mentioned that in another video. You also take a look at the other options you have. You can still run it as administrator like previous versions of Windows. You can open up where that shortcut is. You can uninstall the program from this menu or you could even pin it to the taskbar. I'm going to pin it to start and then drag it over here to my group. Wow. And you can even customize like how far apart the squares are, which is pretty cool. So let's take a look at what default groups it has here. It has play and explore, which has Xbox. I'm going to leave that up for right now because I want to explore that a little bit. It has your stock options. I'm actually going to uninstall the money for now. Uninstall the money! Groove Music, I want nothing to do with. However, you can't uninstall it by regular options. There is a tutorial online on Reddit that you can uninstall it with. I'll put a link to that in the description below. But I am going to unpin it from start because I don't want it. Same thing with their movies and TVs thing. And their news thing. And Solitaire, I will put in a separate group. And I will call this group Games. And that will actually be where Xbox goes. There we go. Store will be in my pinned items. And then I don't need get office because I have office. So we'll unpin that. And then we can start dragging and dropping stuff. So now we have life at a glance over here. Which is actually pretty useful because it has my photos, Cortana, mail, calendar, Microsoft's web browser, the weather app, OneNote, phone companion, etc. Except with the weather app, I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to right click it and go to resize and we can go to small, medium. It's on medium right now. This is small, just like Windows 8 where it's literally just an icon. Wide is a two wide icon, which is really good for the live tiles. Let me put this back up here and see it, it can even be centered or large, which makes it that size. So it's starting to function a lot more like Android, which is really neat. Now I got to open it up here so I can get the live tile going again. And we're going to put in our location and it's 87 degrees right now. It is hot. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to click start and the live tiles can be pretty finicky. I'm going to go ahead and say that now since it's obviously not working. 
Um, but you can also, if you don't want live tiles going, you can right-click and turn that off. So for like Xbox, I don't need it constantly changing icons. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that live icon, live tile off because it doesn't do me any good. There we go. Weather is updated. Look at that big old weather box. That's really freaking cool. I'm sorry, but that is awesome. I get a whole five day forecast, forecast as long as the current, as well as the current temperature and the day and you know, whether or not it's sunny. That is awesome. So you should totally do that. And then of course one node will function the same as it does in Windows 8. And then as you can see down here where it says all apps, it does tell you whether or not you have new apps installed. So we're going to go through and see what all it has installed for us. What the heck is 3D Builder? That's not something I had anything to do with. Oh, Windows 10 comes with a 3D library. This is probably to function with some of that Intel scanning stuff that they had. So I'm going to click this. Yeah, you have a whole 3D modeler here. That's pretty neat. I don't know if that came with it or it installed it from the store for some reason. But I don't really want it right now, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to uninstall it. Because I can do that. Yeah, let's look at other things. It installed Angry Birds for me. I don't want Archery Master. We'll uninstall that. I don't want all of it. Basically, it's installing everything that was installed on my Surface for some reason. Like this Tetris clone. Um, so all you gotta do is just right click them and go to uninstall. Unfortunately for a while, at least until you reinstall them or something, it's going to only show folder icons for your Windows desktop apps, but that's alright. They got a new camera app, so let's take a look at that. Actually, we'll take a look at that in another video, so make sure you're subscribed. And then you can just keep going through, and anything you don't want installed, I now run Halo Spartan Assault through Steam. I don't want their health and fitness app. You can just right click and uninstall it. I just pinned it to the taskbar instead of uninstalling it. But as long as you don't derp up like I am, then you're pretty much good to go. See, I just keep uninstalling everything. Save me some solid state drive space. So that is an overview of how to take control of your Windows 10 start menu. I do hope this video has been helpful and or entertaining for you. If it has, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos, such as a look at that camera app. And leave a comment down below, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. My name's been Adam, or Epo's Vox.